so welcome to part three and we're going to start with installing all the packages that are needed for 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 the that part so there there are functionality plus uh, uh, the basic one like your database and all that we're going to work on those things okay so um, we we have this uh, file terminal here I'm just going to exit out so once once your installation and everything will be done your verification in your password you have entered everything you will end up with this root localhost and all this so I'll just clear the screen to go up okay so now what happened is uh, once you start your VNC server you'll get your uh, all these folders desktop document download music and all that so once once you're done with that what do you what you basically need to do is you're going to go to some folder and you're just going to clone it uh, clone the repository sorry so CD and we I have done in documents if I'm not wrong yeah um, yeah so telegram setup it shows um, I did git clone on telegram setup and once that is done so um, the the repository the private repository that I'm re using right now has name telegram setup I'm not sure what I'm going to give the name there so yeah you can just you'll get the folder according to that so uh, how you do uh, cloning is basically you do git the L O N E and the link now point is where git came out so you have to check it apd minus get install git okay so it already says in use version so the first command that you have to do uh, after installing uh, and everything you end up with root localhost here you do apt get update and get upgrade a and the second will be you just install the git okay so once you install the git you have the access for this uh, setup so what we're going to do is now I'm going to do telegram setup okay so actually why I'm using this uh, not as phone and getting this the tab and the shortcuts it's really easy to use so yeah I just right now hit telegram and uh, tele and this hit tab so get the folder so this is all functionality uh, termix keyboard doesn't have it right you won't find tab and all that there, there are options to do it, but my my motive to uh, install Tomix and use it more about chatbot. So I'm not going to put all unnecessary things in Tomix and load my phone for unnecessary stuff, which I'm not going to use that much. So that's not my concern. Secondly, um, I I haven't uh, done the last uh, command, which I which is here. So I d I don't have a GUI for my Atomix. So this basically helps you get the GUI part to desktop environment sections. So this will give you the GUI part. But for me, I'm I'm totally not interested. I'm okay with the command prompt. So uh, this is completely CUI. It doesn't have a GUI. So if if you are not looking to do much in the GUI part, because um, it's fine with the GUI part. Not you'll not get the exact environment that you see here right it's it's not that and I just did the shortcut different so if if you're not interested and you're okay with you uh, G uh, CUI that's fine you just go ahead with that it's a better option so for now I have uh, just cloned it so what you can do is you just check to get status so there is one end track file which I'm not going to work on so no changes needed to commit get that and everything's fine this is all it's the branch is also up to date for me okay so we have the latest package and everything so we do ls so in ls you see there is one sh file which is which is package sh file and another one says start here right so what is package sh so this is this is completely to install your all packages which you need on your atomics okay and uh, in case there will be new packages which I'm gonna use so right now right now I'm working on Dropbox so what I'm gonna do is basically I have a DB file and I want to edit that DB file every time and I don't have that much option in Thermix so what, I, what I'm gonna do is basically create a script and put that by Dropbox uh, put that DB file in Dropbox sorry and from there I can access anywhere and do the DB part from my end and then just get it back right so 
I'll try to create some if if I keep on adding new functionality I'll collect four to five functionality and then I'll create a new recording and show it on the I'll add that in the playlist as well so you can go ahead and check it okay so for now uh, the first thing once you clone it uh, none of the files so I'll show this way so none of the file will be having a execute uh, status so you you have to give them execute status for now I have already run it a couple of times so it's not showing it but you may need to work on that okay so start here and package and you can give uh, Shana telegram as a as execution uh, run access and other as well so but for now at least for, for the very beginning and for the very first step you are gonna do CH mode sorry plus X and then you have to do um, first you're gonna start package okay so package dot sh you give you are able to run it so not dot start and we're gonna do package dot command dot sh okay so installing and oh yeah I didn't okay that's a simple message no problem what right now it's doing is just cross checking if everything which I have is the latest run so in case you find out that your script is running from a long time it may have a new packages so you can just run simply run it it will try to update as well uh, XML, this one is for Ubuntu but uh, for like desktop version but doesn't have atomic versions but it's not going to interfere for you um, I check for Py dictionary which is one functionality to get the meaning and everything so it's Python dictionary there so it going to it going to read all those so Google search is also there you can do Google search from the chat itself so that is why I have Google hyphen search and I'm looking for other packages as well there will be a lot so meanwhile this things get complete I'm gonna show you so uh, Google search simple Google and Wikipedia media Wikipedia IMDb Pi for movies details and all Teleton is the basic telegram package which I'm going to use it and NLTK so NLTK is more about when you do typing you do a lot of typos so if you pass the sentence through NLTK sent token you can actually uh, make the sentence typo correct and then use them in your database so like you did some spelling mistake you can just cover them up okay for example you just type and you did spelling mistake it will try to get the best better word and just send it and that would be a good way to correct it right so LLTK is needed for that uh, let's check it so okay so module name path file is not fine oh sorry that is my bad but I'll fix this up this is this is nothing no important um, so basically it says start start here dot sh file to proceed okay uh, so what we're gonna do is basically going to start that so uh, in the script itself so if you see I install NLTK then I change the mode okay and then I ba went back to CD installation and all this so what we're going to do is basically now we're going to check NLTK data so we we'll, I'll go back CD and we do Python 3 enter and we're going to check import import NLTK sorry we're gonna install NLTK and once that is done come on Jimmy yeah so um, LTK has a lot of data and there are a lot of corpses so what best you can do is to get the data you just do this download all okay so once you're done with that it will download all the data and it's it's not that big data but yeah it's a big data and what helps you there is uh, there are send talks there are send tokenized there is word tokenized there are other corpses there are twitters so to keep on improving your chatbot and everything you may use those corpses to train it so this is a very basic one like every command and everything is stored in the database just get the value and give it to you back but if you really want to train the chatbot so you can actually stop your script and use Termix to train it and you can go ahead and run that uh, bot itself so 
I'm not going to run it this time because I already have the data or it will not show me the so basically it's downloading and packing downloading and packing so it will take time and once it's done I'll resume it and basically I don't want multiple data uh, let's let me just X out of it <laughs> oh it will check in so basically it's checking it's all say it's saying already up to date so okay no multiple data basically that's that's a good option <laughs> yeah so done downloading all collection what it check is is already up to date right so entire thing is just up to date up to date up to date okay so this is this is done once you're done this you'll get a true thing so now this is I have done by command and this SS file is not there I just now modify, modified it so it's not pushed there so this will work for you it, what it does is basically once this is done I have a folder for installations which will be there obviously if you uh, get clone it so once that is done it will do python ltk.download so what is this file is it's this file okay so Mm -hmm. okay uh, you have no problem there so NLTK and you just import this file just to run any file from terminal it's better you get the fi uh, file path and then run it if you're importing some um, things but we are just going to simply work on NLTK so I don't think so we need it I'll just push that too so what it does is just try if it does it's print NLTK download dot all once it's done it says install it complete in case if there is an exception like you your internet fluctuate or do some uh, your internet fluctuate or your internet availability goes down anything don't just try to run sh file again just you can go and do whatever just just now i show you right python 3 and just do the commands right so there's no problem we do it this way uh with sh file if it's if it run fine fine otherwise you can do it this way go to thermal start python uh, python uh environment and just run it there okay okay so that is done and then just you're gonna start here so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what start here do okay so basically if you if you run localhost so this is basically a localhost right and if you disconnect right once you disconnect so let me just get out from this okay you see there's a lot of pass and fail and everything right so start here is going to uh, cover up all this so let's let's do this way I'll just pause this now and we'll continue in the next recording so I'll explain you how the functionality works this, this part is all in functionality now okay so installation is done your setup is done and you're ready and good to go with the with the functionalities and everything right so see you next next recording